Hi. I'm having a really bad night. Um, it's the night before the court for Wayne Smith. And I'm um, having a drink. Well, actually, I'm having a couple of drinks. I'm having a really hard night. Um, it's hard to explain what I'm going through. I hope nobody ever, ever goes through this. What he did was wrong. Right. He took advantage of a vulnerable situation. And um, I hope he learns from that. Uh, I hope other people, you know, other guys don't try doing this. I mean, some women are like me. They're not going to let this go. Um, it's not an easy road. I try to forget about it. I make jokes. I... But then it hits really hard. Like, I have nights where I don't know if I can go on, but I know I have to because if I don't, then he wins. I can't let him win. I can't let any other man win. Like, if I let him get away with it, he can do this to other women. And I know he's um, he had, has to have done this in the past, and he got away with it. Um, I was very lucky that night. He made a mistake. He thought I was drunk. I was on my first drink, and he drank that drink. I was very lucky. I woke up twice, just for fleeting moments. But enough to know what he was doing. And even though I woke up the last time and I told him to stop, I don't know if he did. I don't know if he walked away. I passed out again. It started in the living room. And I don't know how he got me to the bedroom. I just remember everything going black in the living room. Then I woke up. I was in the bedroom. And um, I remember it was a lot of pain. And then I passed out again after I said stop. And he said okay. What does it actually take to fall I'm listening to a lot of love songs tonight, trying to forget what pain is like. I want to believe that all men are not like that. Uh, it's just certain ones um, if I didn't let him get away if I let him get away with this if I walked away I, like I want to do I want to put it all behind me I want to just forget about it that it can happen to another woman and she will not say anything and I believe he's done this in the past and the women have not said anything and that's why it happened to me uh, it's like the worst violation um, but I'm strong. I, once this is over, I can. Once he's charged, I have to put it behind me. Um, I said, New Year's 2016. I said this is going to be the greatest year ever. 2016 is going to be the best year ever. It started off really, really great. It did, but it didn't end well. And unfortunately, because of this. 2617 is not starting well because I have to deal with the court, I have to deal with blood work, needles, um, the humiliation of going through. Um, 
an, an exam, an exam an internal exam, and then being told what he did to me, how he damaged me inside, he tore me up, he bruised me, he knew I hadn't been with anybody for over four years. Um, he knew I was not interested in him, I never once flirted with him. I never once let him on. He always knew his place. We only talked outside. Uh, this was a tenant who lived in my basement for seven months. He never once showed me any indication that he was interested. That, was, that threw me off. Like it, It's a shock that it happened. <laughs> but <laughs> in hindsight, like I said, he's a hard, he's a hard-looking ticket, and no women wanted to go with him. So he felt he could take one, like, and I'm sure he's done this in the past. Like I said, and he's gotten away with it. He's had, he had does have a criminal past, but it was too many years ago to be used. And when I asked the police officer, it was a female, if it was related, and she said, let's just say that he's been in trouble in the past, and uh, we can't use it. It's been too many years. So, uh, sorry. Um, this is a rough night. Um, I'm having a drink. I'm having a couple of drinks, actually. Uh, I'm trying to face tomorrow. I hardly really slept last night. I only had a few hours sleep. Um, just facing him tomorrow. But it's something I have to do. It's I can't let him know that he wins. If I don't face him, then... He wins. I'm going to try to sleep tonight, but I know I'm going to have a hard time. I probably won't sleep at all. And I wish I could explain how I feel, but it's hard to explain what it's like, especially to a man. And the only way um, I can make a man understand this is if, if you're in prison and somebody rapes you, that holds you down and rapes you, and you're not into women. I guess that's the only way I can help them relate to what I'm going through because I've had a lot of guys say to me well I don't know what you're going through I, I don't see how you can dwell on it how, just forget about it just put it behind you well, yeah 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 take them to court but don't fake about it don't dwell on it you can't it's it's I feel like he's still inside me and I've been going to To therapy and and the reason um, I feel he's still inside me is because when I told him to stop and he said okay I didn't see him walk away I passed right out I don't know if he continued his abuse I don't know I'll never know there's a lot of questions I want to know why I'll never know why when you look over your shoulder, over a minute, I forget that I'm older. That's hard to do. With you right now. But, um, you look as beautiful as ever. I'll be back and tomorrow. I swear that every day have to court. You make me feel this way. Hopefully, he pleads guilty. So and he gets good long term in jail but what was really discouraging for me was he went he appeared before Christmas uh, December 16th and he um, it was an arraignment 
date, whatever. He opted for a lawyer, and that was just to keep him out of jail, I guess. Um, Christmas was coming. I feel like I'm in a prison, but he's free. He can go to work. He can enjoy life. He goes about his his day like nothing happened um, but I feel like I'm walking around the prison I miss time from work because of it um, when it first happened I missed a whole week of work but I said no you have to push on you can't stay home you can't stay home and dwell on it I, again I can't let him win He's not gonna win. This is this is this is my fight. It's my fight, not just for me, but for other women who have been through this and who are afraid to come forward. Please, please, don't be afraid. You have to tell somebody. What's up, guys? It's if Sanchez, not, it's gonna happen to other women. If the other women. Would have come forward, it wouldn't have happened to me. Maybe it happened to other women in between. I don't know. But anyway, until tomorrow. Good night.